Unbelievable thing to watch. Thank you. Thank you for believing. Well done. Coach, thank you. Brenda! Hey! I don't know where we go from here. I don't know what comes next, but this, we did this. We did this together. I love you. I love you too. We did it. It's a bad moment. Oh, Clip for the new movie, American Underdog. It's based on the life of NFL Hall of Famer Kurt Warner. Kurt is here, as long as Zephy Levi plays him in the movie. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Good, Good to be, be here. here. Good morning. Well, I, you, just, you, just, you, just, you just That's why I got the job, guys. You just answered my first question. You said that in exact syncopation. So I guess you got to know each other pretty yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, we actually did. Um, you yeah. know, Zach came once he signed on to be part of the movie. He came. Yeah. To the house for a few days right off the bat and uh it was nice to get to know him and see what he's all about you know you wonder i mean obviously you can see the likeness did so you that's, pick him yeah. no, i i didn't have anything to do with the galaxy <laughs> so i'm not taking any he wanted credit. brad pitt he all of his choices were like i feel like i'm more of a dicaprio guy right? <laughs> you know did, throw that get, in there a little no, bit we did get a couple of days which were great and i got to meet him and brenda and, and almost all of the kids they were all there they happened to be there and then he and brenda were on set um, i mean about half the time we were making that movie and which is which is a little intimidating in some ways but in other ways we had this me and anna who plays brenda so brilliantly, we had this incredible resource. We could go to them and be like, hey, what were you thinking or feeling in this moment? Or what was some mannerism like when you were on the field and stuff? So great. I saw that he looked like me, but it was like, let's go in the backyard and throw the football. Because <laughs> we, we got to get that right. We got to get that right. And, and we're going to talk about that. In this <laughs> oh, yeah. We know you can ask. I have no doubt. But you both have been on Good Morning America before. Yeah. You remember your first time? It was after the Super Bowl. And uh, if, you, if you don't, we're going to remind you, okay, right. because Charlie Gibson yes. had this to say about you right after Charlie. your Super Bowl win. Kurt, we, we were talking on this broadcast, uh, Boomer and, and Al were talking about it on the show. If you gave your story to a Hollywood studio, they wouldn't produce it because nobody would believe it. <laughs> and here you are. Wow. And, here, and here we are. I mean, amazing, because that's, you know, kind of when people started talking about it, obviously, when you win the Super mm -hmm. Bowl and, and, and in moments like that. And, you know, you're like, oh, it's, you know, th that's nice. But I, I got a career to play. And uh, so it's pretty incredible that uh, you get to this point. It's humbling and you're honored that people believe your story can, can impact people. And uh, we're believing that we made a movie that, uh, that can do just that. Amen. How much did you know about his story and some of those details? And what did you find most incredible about it? Because we know about you on the field and the MVPs and the Super Bowl. But, man, when people watch this movie and see some of those details, it's unbelievable you're sitting here. Yeah, I mean, I knew... I knew what everybody else knew. I was, I was, uh, you know, slightly younger version of myself when he was a slightly younger <laughs> version of himself when, when it was all happening in real time, and it was insane. I mean, it was, you know, it really was like, like Charlie was saying, you can't script it. I mean, obviously we did, and we made a movie about it, but, <laughs> but it was so unbelievable to watch this guy who came out of nowhere as this, you know, uh, you know, rookie that was 20. How old were you when you got into the league? 27. 27. Yeah, wow. You know, and and that's very, you know, different already. But the fact that you know the bullet points of like he was stocking shelves not too long before yeah. that and was an arena football player and. All of that stuff was just very Cinderella story that, you know, to take your team all the way to the Super Bowl, to win it, to, to win MVP of the Super mm. Bowl, to win MVP of the league and be paying, being paid uh, league minimum. Like, all of that stuff was just a, a really cool thing. But I would say that, a lot, like, most of like the story, the, the movie's 25% football. It's 75% family and relationship and love and, and struggle and scraping change out of your car doors to put gas in your tank. I mean, that's the stuff that I think a lot of people don't know mm -hmm. and the amazing journey that he and Brenda and the kids went on. And I, I, I think that that's the stuff that I found to be most compelling and the stuff that is most relatable, I think, to yeah, all of Yeah, we like to think that it's real life. I mean, so much of what we went through, my wife has an incredible underdog story as well. And so... That was the movie is like we want to be able to connect with every, you know so many people have their supermarket moment i know it's rare to go from supermarket to super bowl but so many people have that moment and that's where we believe this movie can really connect with people i have to ask you about the 25 percent is it true you never played football before <laughs> I, you're asking me so, <laughs> well i am you so anyway um no listen i, I played like two-hand touch of flag football growing up. i played baseball i played basketball i played volleyball i played I, I played various things but i had never played organized football before so you know learning how to throw a spiral at 40 is not ideal 
Uh, a lot of repetitions. I uh, got a little tendonitis in the right shoulder. But fortunately, I, you know, look, I threw some dimes. I threw some really, <laughs> good, I threw some really good. Wait, let's ask the Hall of Famer. Is that true? Is that true? Kurt Warner? There might have been a couple dimes. A couple dimes. Of dimes. <laughs> <laughs> At least 20 cents worth of dimes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I had, and we had incredible other football players around us, surrounding us. I had great doubles. I mean, look, it all worked out. I think, yeah. I think the football stuff in the movie is really good. Quite, quite good. Yeah. I, I do too. And you know, that was the one thing you worry about because you take someone that hasn't played football and you go, okay, you got to look like a pro football Hall of Famer after three, four months of throwing a football. But uh, he pulled it off, did a great job, and everybody involved uh, the football. Because <laughs> you don't, you don't want to lose people with that, right? No, if you, you take them to a movie and they're thinking it's about football and the football stuff doesn't look real, you'll lose them for the rest of the movie. So uh, he pulled it off. I and mean, we could still do a little bit more work, but he pulled yeah. it off. Yeah, uh, the sequel. But, but the football stuff looks really, really good. Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so much fun to have you guys here. Thank you so uh, well, thanks you for having us. Thank we appreciate it. Thank you very it. much. Yeah. American Underdogs in theaters on Christmas Day. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.